to show you the other one that came out of this box later because this one is the first one that I did. That's this pink one. So I'll show you that one. But let's, this is my first time opening these. And then I got pins galore. So I got pins. And then I also, I don't know what this is. I don't remember what I got in this one. I think it's a five-year. I think this one here is the five-year journal. I got two pins, a five-year journal, and lots of refills. So the refills were really cheap, so that was good. You get a lot of refills, and refills, they do not charge for the shipping. So that was exciting. I was happy about that. Hello, everybody. Andrea here. I just want to give you a little sneak peek of some of the things I ordered from Levenger today. This is going to be just a video of showing you some of the open boxing, actually a lot of open boxing, of these soft softia notebooks and also soft folios i have the soft folio notebook several of those some of the pins that they have and i'm going to do a big pen test to let you guys see how those look and that's it so stay with me to the end of the video make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below if you have these or what you think i'll tell you how i feel at the end if you want to scrub through go right ahead but yeah all of this stuff is going back just so you know it is all going back and i appreciate you guys for coming in and so let's get let's go ahead and open this stuff up we're going to start with my five-year journal which, look at the box <laughs> i like this this is a nice storage box i would okay so if i get a, something else like this from them if i get something else like this from them i would like these storage boxes i would definitely store things in these i will not throw these away Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, okay. You guys are first seeing me do this because I wanted to share this with you. I know I have my family members are watching this and my friends are watching this and you guys think I'm losing my mind over here. But I'm not. I journal. You you already know I journal all the time. And now I have a five-year journal. And it has been dedicated to the, the creation of thoughtfully whatever. I don't read all that stuff. Anyway, Levenger is a very old company. They specialize in leather. And I got my name engraved on it. Maybe I should have given this to somebody as a, you know, wish list, but I don't think like that. <laughs> I don't think like that to give somebody a wish list, so I got it myself. But look. Yay. So, that's what I got. So, let's go ahead and keep going. Now, five-year journal. Oh, you can see the stitching from behind it. So that means they made this for me. Oh, my goodness. I hope it lasts as long as it's supposed to because this here, let's see if it'll lay flat because that's one of the things I heard people want to know about. They want to know if it lies flat when you open it. No, it doesn't. That pops up. And so, and I don't know. This, nope. I'm having to fight it. They say you have to massage it. Is sewn or is it glue? Let's see if it's sewn. And let me open it all the way. Let's see where the stitches are. It's sewn, which means that's a good thing. And it has a really long pull tab here, so that's a good thing. And the pages are not numbered. They have their telephone number now. Let's see if it'll lie flat as I so-called massage the book. So, uh, However, because this book is so thick, I'm not seeing that to happen over here. I'm going to miss some writing on that side. And I like to write all the way to the edge. So I don't know if I'm going to like this book. And also the paper is not as thick as a 30. Let's see, I have a 28 pound paper here. This is 28 pounds. This paper is not 28 pounds. I would say it almost feels like it's really lightweight. And I don't want to do a pen test. They didn't give me a pen test sheet. So I'm going to continue to open this up and see. It is sewn. It has stitching in the middle. That's a good thing. Let me take a little bit. Now, I don't like that the uh, lines are so big. I will it's a quarter inch one fourth inch lines that's kind of thick but you're really supposed to just write one or two things in here 
every single year. So if it's March 24th, whatever year, 2022, next year, 2023, you would write something here, 2000. So you would continue to go for five years. Now you would sit this on your book or your nightstand and you would write in it every single night. So to me, <laughs> I would probably write a little note to each one of my uh, grandchildren and or whatever, or use two per each one. So it'd be 2022 and use 2022, 2023, and then write the last thing here on what I might say at the bottom. I don't know, but <laughs> knowing me, I need a lot of space. This is not regular journaling, so think about that. This is like little quick letters or something. And I might would want to put a small little picture from my camera or, you know, my little HP sp sp sprocket. I might want to put a small picture from my HP sprocket right there. This one, because it's costumes and I sew costumes for the kids, I probably would put it all the way back in October, like October 30th or October 31st. So I might have a picture for every year of each costume I make because that's always what happens on October 31st. <laughs> And then so on and so on. Uh, I'll write a little note about how I was feeling during that time. Not at, not mental or not physical, but just to say how happy I am, a gratitude that I'm thankful for or something in that manner. And of course, now it is lying flat, which means I did do a good massage of the pages to help it to turn and do what it's supposed to. Let's see if it has anything else in the back. Because the front did have a nameplate. Nope, that's it. That's the last page. So this one here is going to get damaged because you're trying to write here and it looks like you're going to end up making a problem because this is glued to the back. They, they shouldn't have had this glued to the back. They should have had a whole nother set of pages with extra in the back because this is... I don't think this quality is that great. I don't like that. That's three whole days that are damaged. Can you imagine that getting damaged over five years, those last three pages? And then this first one page here. Well, this first page is fine because it's not glued. But this second page, the back is not good. Okay, so this has the important dates in the front. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lines. For, well, 10 lines for each month. And then you have your nameplate in the front. Belongs to subject, of course, five-year journal. And it has my uh, leather. And then it's got cloth covering on the book. And, of course, you would write in it every single night for five years every night on each day or whatever day you want to write. It could be your morning, thank you, wake up in the morning, thank you, whatever. So this would be something that you would do every single day. You could just write that down and or come back and write it in your regular book and come back and add it to this one later on. Now let's go to the next item that I have. Let's see. I'm going to put this back in this roll uh, paper because it just felt good to have it in the paper. I'm going to put this next to my nightstand or something like that. Don't come over my house, friends, and look for this at my nightstand. I'm not telling you guys anything about where anything is in my house or anything. All right, let's go to this one here. That one is going to sit in the living room, and I probably, oh my goodness, I could write down what movie, book, or whatever I read every single week or every single day of that year. That would be what I was watching, what I was seeing. What? Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so this one is a notebook or a binder. And let's see here. There we go. I'm really excited about this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. Like I said, you guys, I don't know. This is a, this is called the Soft Folio, and it is in grape. Beautiful color. Let's see what we have here. And I have the other one I've already opened. This is a junior size. And I got the blush as well. This is the blush. 
and I wanted to show you guys that it has the large pocket it's got a deep pocket here it is so soft. look how soft it is that's how soft it is just to help you know it's got lavender written on the back and it has snap closure but this doesn't stay closed all the way I'm going to show you why I have my initials put on the pink one okay now this here is the circle notebook that comes with it comes with the circle notebook I'm not sure I'm going to keep these, so don't get, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. All right, so like I told you, it's got the zipper pocket. This does not fit in the zipper pocket. You have the paper here is, like I said, not the same as 28 pound. Now, I can take a sheet of paper out of here and test it with a fountain i don't have fountain pens but i have this pen here so let's see here this is a paper mate paper mate flare all right and let's see how that one looks little ghosting not a lot all right that's the paper mate flare now let's do my regular Pen, which is the one I use all the time. This is a Coletto and it's a high tech. That is a 4.5 gel. See, nothing coming through. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. I didn't know that. And let's see what happens if I use the mild liner. If I go twice. Go once, once. Little bit of nothing. <laughs> really nothing. You can start seeing the ghosting now. It's starting to settle into the, absorb into the paper. Okay, let's see what happens with my regular art skills that I love to use. Sometimes I write twice, so let's just do twice. Well, look at that now. It's working. And I also use the Crayola, which is this one's Sergeant Art. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's ghosting for sure. Oh, I can see that one really well. All right. That is what I have so far. Now, we already know this is a Sharpie. I'm not even going to lay the paper down. Sharpie for sure bleed that's called bleed for all of my new people who are following me and you don't know about this kind of stuff this here is a pigma graphic pigma graphic one okay this is for art this is drawing archival ink so just know that that's why that kind of stuff matters to folks like me all right no ghosting and no show through good that's a good thing all right now something bled through i turned it over oops i hope that I, I told you guys i'm mailing these back so if the paper doesn't work good then of course that's why they're getting these back all right this is a softia so portfolio and it has all of the information in here that tells you what everything is about lavender notebook refills and uh ambiflex folio and this one is the softia softolio softolio i keep saying something wrong it's softolio it has special punches and disc and a portable punch i use the arc punch they're a disc this is a one a three fourth inch disc on this one these are really nice notebooks i really like them so now that i showed you this i'm going to show you what i did i took all of this because this is such a small notebook i was trying to see if i switch over and use this notebook as my planner so if i did do that could i use what's in my franklin planner to go into one of these so I took everything out and I put the number of pages of a large disc because I could get a one inch disc or even if I were to get a one and a half. These are one inch disc. 
So you just look at it like that on the inside. It's one inch on the inside, not the part that's the curve that holds on to the paper. Okay, so I wanted to find out how much this would hold all together. So I was really trying to stuff this as much as possible by putting as much paper as I could. So in order to get an idea, I just went ahead and took this and I stacked it a couple of times with a few notebooks. I put a, a planner notebook in there. I put a, another pack of paper in there because I didn't have any more uh, paper to add to that. So that I could try to get it really thick like some people have their books so that I can get an idea how it works. This is the Levenger cover and it's supposed to get stuck up inside, slide right in there. And then now you have all of this and it's fat, okay? Then, because I like keeping my pens with me, I decided to add pens here, just to check. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to make this thing. Well, this would go over here, which you already know it fit on the other one. So I'll take this off because I'm, I'm going to return this. They, they're going to take it back. My pen took a little bit to get in because even though it has the elastic here, it has this grip. I have this gel grip here or silicone grip. So it took a little bit, but I, I really believe that when this gets, I think when it gets a little bit softer or stretch out a little bit, it'll be okay. And then I wanted to also put some uh, paper. Let's say I carried one of my measuring tapes, carry a measuring tape in there if I wanted to. And then, so that's, those are the pens I have. I have this regular pen and I have a couple of highlighters and that's all I would need is those highlighters. I wouldn't need this one. I would carry the pink and I would carry a blue. So those are most of the high color highlighters I would carry, okay? And then I wanted to see how it closes and how it snaps. So now we have everything I want and then I snapped it and it didn't stay. So I was like, ah! It's not going to work for me. I can't use it for what I want because it doesn't stay. I need a, like a really true snap, like snap, snap. I don't like this. See, I can't stuff it. <laughs> so, so it's not going to work uh, because I put a lot of stuff in my planner. So that's not going to work. So let's see if I move those out. It's still not working. So I can't keep my pens in there. And another thing, books. I mean, this is really soft, but please stop using these kind of covers. I do not, it's not strong enough to hold. And then look what happens. It's just not strong enough. That is disappointing. <laughs> and I bought three of them. So I got to return three of them. So I'll give them a call and I'll return. I'll show you the other ones to you just, just so you'll see. This is the other one. I didn't even want to take this out because it's it's a wrong it's wrong to do that to them. But anyway, that's the yellow one. Let me turn it this way. And then look how it snapped through the paper, but it doesn't really maybe that's this one that's snapping better. Let's see. Let's take this one out. Maybe it's maybe it's the actual thing is not working. Let's see what happens. We're gonna find out for sure in a second here. This is how we do it. I need to have something else in there, but let's go ahead and go with that. Oh, we were supposed to have a notebook. I'll just use my stickers. Nope. That's not good enough. That would pop off too. I'm barely putting any pressure on here. you guys you got to decide what you want to do it's way over the size that it is it's almost like it's let's see it's like it's extra 
inch and it doesn't really need to have that much space unless they are trying to make it to where you can use an A5 book in here as well. Uh, I don't see any reason, but that's what I could see for that. Anyway, that's it on the, the haul. <laughs> as far as those are concerned, those are the books and the soft folios. This, this soft folio here. I will not be keeping this yellow one at all. Did I take my pen out? Yes. I will not be keeping that one at all. For sure. And I, I will not be keeping this grape nor the pink. So all of these are going back. Let's keep going with the pens. These are the pens that I bought. So let's look at the pens. Whew. This is really pretty. I need to get paper ready, don't I? I'll get their paper so I can test it. We'll test the back. All right. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy and write on their paper. This is a ballpoint pen. Let's see what happens. It's twist. Now this is got some weight to it. Pen test. My uh my right this rolls this is a roller ball or a ballpoint, shall I say? So it's a ballpoint. Okay, I can feel it. Compared to these, let's see. Compared to this one here. This here is a gel. And this is a 0.5 millimeter. Now this is a, a 0.8 millimeter. Unless I got the fine. I did buy the fine. I think this one is regular. This one is a, this one doesn't say, it says ballpoint refill, but it says it is a 1.0 millimeter. I don't want this thick. So I did order the smaller ones. So let's see what happens with the smaller ones. Because I did order small. I ordered the, that's one point millimeter. I ordered the eight point, the point eight. So let's see how this point eight looks. This is blue. I guess you better make sure you keep this little uh, spring when you're doing your replacements and make sure you put it on there properly. All right, it's a smooth closed. Now it won't close like it's supposed to. Maybe I don't have it in there in the right place. Yeah, now it won't come. Now it won't come back out. I don't understand this. Now it won't come back out. Maybe I have it in the wrong place. Maybe it needs to turn. This little turn slot right there. I'm checking. I don't like this. I need to keep it going back. I don't like this. I do not like this. No, I don't. This is too much work for me. I need to try especially just trying. And see, it doesn't go in all the way. See, it doesn't go in all the way. Something is not working. But anyway, I'm going to do the pen test. 
repentance, and this is a 0 0.08 millimeter or 0 0.8 millimeter. And this here is the Levenger, Levenger pen test. And I already don't like it, so that's a bummer. Okay, because of the way it twists, it's not going all the way in. I don't know why that is, but that's not going to work for me. Okay, let's put that one aside. It's, it, anything that takes that much work to get a refill put in is not worth it for me. I just want to open it up and put my refill in and keep it moving. See, now I can't even put the other one back in. What the heck is this going on here? What is this? Turn on something, it's supposed to hold it still. Then you put it here. Now where is the, it's in there. This was in here first, right? Okay. close open and then it still won't go back in see that's not gonna work for me okay that's not gonna work okay this one is going back just because of the sheer <laughs> sheer work how long was that on this video that we just spent i don't even know if the video was still recording it is good oh that was a pain i'm not even happy with that let's close that i'm not keeping any of these pins i don't even want that work i'm just gonna show you guys the other one just because i said i would yes. it even stopped my my watch from from working i couldn't even see myself recording all right let's see oh this one is so pretty too bad it doesn't work See, it, it's not even working when I first... See, I didn't even do anything with it this time. And it's not working. Look at that. I mean, so... Is it supposed to not... This is the thick 1.0 millimeter pen. It's too thick. I don't like that ballpoint. I can't get it to go back in. All right, that one is going back too. I'm just, it's not working. So this one is no good. I don't like this. This, this, this is not cool. So all of those are going back. Everything is going back, really, you guys. I just wanted to try their stuff out and look at everything. But let's just look at this here. I'm going to move this up all the way so you guys can see. This is a file box and it is close and clean and it has snaps to keep this held down on the side so when you're working with it it is a file box holder see i don't know if you guys can see all of that i'm gonna get all this stuff. how about how about i do this for you guys let's do that how about this can you see it now <laughs> i really like it actually I don't know. I might like this enough to keep it because I move around so much. I like to carry my backpack, but I also like to deal with files and stuff. And this has places for extra pens and everything. And it's not, it's not a briefcase. I did not want a briefcase, but it has side pockets here, inside pockets and a file holder right here. These are for hanging files, hanging file folders. So I can put my file folders in there like that and I can carry them with me when I move around if I'm working on a project. These are for projects, not for items that are made to file. This is for if I wanna work from the kitchen table 
or I need to go do something else. So either way, I heard on the website that somebody said that these stick out when and get in the way when they are using it. It's not doing that to me because it has a snap on the back right here and you can snap it down just like that it has this inside pocket zipper pocket and like i said it has uh there's something in here oh that's this here oh wow so this comes out look at that look at that does this one come out Yes, it does. Wow. So you can take the file folder out. You can take the file system out. That's pretty cool. I like that. That way it won't be so stiff. But I wouldn't want to take that out, really, to be honest with you. I would want, this is why I like this. This is why I chose to try this one out. Because of that very thing you want to get into this i suppose this would be in the way but of course common sense tells you to unsnap this so you can get inside of here there's very not really a lot of room for this to get inside of that so i wouldn't see me doing that but if i were to pick this up undo this if i were to pick this up and carry it around this would work out just perfect for me i can see myself carrying this around the house or Actually, I kind of like it. It does not have feet, though. Now, I, I would like to have some feet because it definitely would be sitting on the floor while I'm watching my v movies and working and working on, say, for instance, uh, writing or doing some journaling or something like that. But mostly it would be business and business that does not have to be on the computer. So all of you guys think that things need to be uh, computerized. That is not the case. There is paperwork that has to be done. I like doing my budget and everything. I don't keep all of my budget inside of my planner. So I would probably have my budgeting folder or file or my budgeting workbook. And I would have it in here with me when I'm working. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking things out and seeing what I had as far as Levenger is concerned. Thank you very much for playing along with my videos. I appreciate you guys for dropping by. If you have any questions or any requests, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you for following me. I will see you on the other side of the internet. Bye.